Dear Abby, it's been three days and I still haven't gotten a reply. Why don't you want to talk to me? I'm still unsure if you got my last two letters. Please tell me if you have. So I got fired from my job, but they found the missing tape. I got a call from the store owner, my boss, at 6 a.m. on Monday and I was told to come in immediately. They were having a mandatory all-staff meeting. When I got there, all the staff was gathered around a small table with the owner at the head of it. Once everyone had arrived, he told us that apparently there had been a minor robbery yesterday. They had about $200 worth of stuff taken from them, and the one tape that would have shown who was the culprit was the one I had taken. Just my luck. He told us that no one was going to leave until someone confessed. After a few minutes, I finally gave in. I told him everything, about how I felt as if me and you had some kind of connection. After explaining the whole story, the entire room was staring wide-eyed at me. After I had finished, I sat there in silence for several seconds. Suddenly, the store owner broke the tension. Jay, you're fired. Get out of here now and don't come back, he said. I did as I was told and got out of there as fast as I could. That stupid prick. He's always treated me like shit. He's been on my case since the day I got the job. I swear he's just waiting for me to do one little thing that could justify firing me. And the one time I slip up, he finds out. Why doesn't he understand, though? Doesn't he get that you and I are meant for each other? Any rational man would have understood. Anyone put in my situation would have done that, right? I've been searching you up a lot lately. With no job, I have all the time in the world to spend learning about you. Do you know how much you can find out about someone with just a first name in a town of residence? I found out your last name's Marit. What a beautiful name. Abby Marit. I couldn't help but say it out loud whenever I think about you. I also found out you're 24, and you only live a mile away from me. I drove down to your apartment complex today. It looks very nice. Much nicer than where I live. I asked to see you multiple times, but I was told that you weren't there every time. I felt more and more discouraged every time. But I was determined to see you again. After a few hours of asking, I decided to stay back in the parking lot for a while waiting for you to come back. And after many hours of waiting, you did. It was late at night, around 10 I believe. I saw you pull up in your car and get out. I felt a sudden rush of warmth at seeing your face again. I know I have the security camera tape to look at, but it doesn't compare to seeing you in real life. I made sure to record it later when I was at home, this time with a much higher quality camera. I wanted to capture as much detail as possible. I didn't know the next time I would see you and the security tape wasn't enough for me anymore. I asked the woman at the front desk multiple times what your room number was, but she refused to tell me. She thought I was some sort of creep. See, Abby? These people don't understand us. They don't understand what we feel for each other. I ended up waiting in the parking lot a little while longer until someone came out. After talking to him for a bit, he told me what your apartment number was. He didn't want to talk at first, but I made him. You'd be surprised what you can make people tell you when you're holding a knife to the chest. Don't worry. I didn't hurt him too bad. But we can't have someone interfering with us. Don't you agree, Abby? I'm sick of all these people trying to keep us apart. I ended up watching you from the parking lot for a while. Once I found out your room number and how the rooms in this complex were organized, it wasn't hard to locate it. You should be more careful about shutting your blinds, you know. I was easily able to watch you from the parking lot. I can't get you out of my head anymore. Ever. All I do is watch that video I took of you over and over. Abby. I want to be with you forever. I want to wake up in the morning to see you next to me in bed. I cannot wait until the next time I see you again. Love, Jay.